Greenland sits at the edge of the North Atlantic. A place where sled dogs play in the summer and labor during the winter. Where fields of floating ice and snow are ruled by polar bear kings and queens. Denmark is the sovereign state of this island, including the inlet town of Tasilak and the island settlement of Kulusuk. Only 20 miles of road exist in all of Greenland, so no roads lead to Tasilak. The community is reached by sea and air. Once, shaman communicated with spirits by way of the drum dance, protecting themselves from Tupalak carvings and avenging spirits harnessed by lesser shaman. Now, the drum dance is primarily a means of self-expression. Between 2011 and 2014, Greenland has lost over a trillion tons of glacial ice. Some of these calving glaciers gave birth to icebergs that then slowly melt away in the ocean water. My name is Nils. I was born in West Greenland, Sisimut. Then we moved here in 1992 with my mother. I'm always fishing with my father. It's inside around here with salmons. The weather changing fast now. And last year uh, we have uh, more ice around here, but this year the ice it's gone fast. This one can be melting a couple of years here. Six years more. If you can see the top of the ice, and then you can see only 10% on the top and 19% on the water. To the north, the aurora borealis can often be seen dancing to its own beat for much of the year. During the summer months, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Greenland's people and their distinctive sense of place endures. The drum dance, the tupelec. and the tie to the land, the sea, and the life of the Arctic. <laughs> my name is actually Simoyok Wilhelm Kumnitsi, but my names have been changed for certain reasons and I completely changed it to Simeok Wilhelm Kunitsi because Kunitsi is my grandfather's real name before he was baptized. It's quite important for me to have this Kunitsi name. Drum dancing is it's more, more like in a family, it's a family tradition. And my great grandfather held this drum dancing and he passed it on to my grandfather. And then, same thing from my grandfather to my grandmother. One morning, my grandmother, when I awoke, I was alone in the house while my uncles was out hunting. And I sat down on bed and my grandmother sat beside me and she pointed to the floor. I looked down the floor and I saw a drum. And my grandmother said, Simoyo, you had to pick up the drum. 
I looked at my grandmother and said, Grandma, I don't know how to do a drum dance. I don't even know how to hold a drum. And my grandmother said to me, Shumuyok, it's in here. And ever since that day, I picked a drum up. I never, I never let it go. So in the evenings, once everybody has eaten and set it down, what they do is put the drum in the middle of the floor. And one by one, they get up and do a drum dance and express themselves what they have done during the day, what they have seen, what they have felt. But for me, drum dancing, it's more like I would rather be out in the wilderness, uh, away from the town or villages, and below a mountainside where no one else is around. I, I, let, I do a drum dance and let my voice out and let all my feelings out with this drum dance. And later on, it makes my body feel lighter. It makes me feel good.